Scientists have stumbled across something so extraordinary I almost didn't believe it. It's happening in a place called Afar. Though, in hindsight, the signs were there all along, even from afar. See, deep beneath East Africa, the Earth's mantle isn't just churning, it's pulsing, like a slow, powerful heartbeat. And with every pulse, molten rock surges upward, tearing Africa apart, laying the groundwork for a brand new ocean. If you've heard of the East African Rift, yeah, this leads up to the Afar region. This is the Afar Triangle, and it's in Ethiopia and it's one of the only places on Earth where you can see three tectonic plates moving apart, literally pulling away from each other. This is the front line of continental breakup, and it, no, it's not a theory, it's happening right now. A research team led by the University of Southampton collected over 130 volcanic rock samples across the region, spanning the Red Sea Rift, the Gulf of Aden Rift, and the main Ethiopian Rift. Now, these weren't just some random rocks. They carry geochemical fingerprints, specific isotopes of lead, neodymium, and strontium that reveal where the magma came from, how deep it was generated, and how it moved through the crust. And what they found was rather astonishing. You would assume plumes as being these big upwellings of mantle, but beneath the far, it's anything but steady. It's not symmetrical. In fact, it's asymmetrical. And it's tilted, it's striped, and it's chemically pulsating. It rises in rhythmic surges, each carrying a distinct chemical barcode. And these surges change in size and spacing depending on the rift they pass through. In faster spreading rifts like the Red Sea, the pulses stretch out more smoothly, like blood through a narrow artery. But in slower rifts like the Ethiopian Rift, the pulses are squeezed closer together. It's like the mantle is trying to flow upward through a bottleneck. And the seismic data even confirms this. Wave speeds slow down in these areas, indicating hotter, melt-rich material pooling beneath the crust. So how do we know it's asymmetric? Well, the research team ran statistical models comparing the geochemical and geophysical data. A simple symmetrical model didn't fit, but when they allowed the plume to vary, changing shape and chemistry depending on the plate thickness and spreading rate, the data finally made sense. The best fit model was a single pulsing chemically heterogeneous plume sculpted by the very plates pulling apart above it. Geologically speaking, this is pretty big. It means Earth's interior isn't just pushing upwards, it's being shaped by the surface, the crust, the plates, the tectonic boundaries. They're not just reacting to deep Earth processes, they're influencing them. So yeah, East Africa isn't just desert and rock. It's showing the early stages of an ocean being born. Because deep below the FR Triangle, Earth's heart is beating and it's reshaping the planet as we speak.